Welcome back everyone! I think this is going to be the third time in a row that we start an episode with a dream sequence. I hope it doesn't bother you, but somehow they keep popping up. I cannot do anything against that. And I need my TP, so... Yeah. You return to your room and try to rest, but to no avail. As you sit there, you hear a knock at your door. Who could it be at this hour? Well, last time we had Bertrand then Ariana, so how about Flavio for change? <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Ray. You have some time? Uh, tell him the door's open. Come on. Hey, come on. I at least knocked this time. The least you could do is open the door for me. <laughs> but I guess this is business as usual for us. You have a sec? I was just talking with the old man about the last ritual and stuff and... How he lived for over a hundred years. We have been, uh, we have been him for so long, and I think this is the first time we had a serious talk. It was kind of interesting. It seems really shady when we first met him, and I wasn't too keen on him. But I guess he's been through a lot. I never even imagined half the thing he'd gone through. <laughs> Actually, I'm a little embarrassed to say this now, but. I always thought we had it tough than anyone else. We had no parents. We don't know our roots. No one really cares about us. My best friend had something horrible happen to him, and no one believed me. <sighs> but I see now, it's not just us. Everyone got problem. Everyone got it tough. Uh, that's actually obvious. You're right. Yeah. It really should have been, but I never realized it until now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could open up to you about that. I kind of knew that you would say uh, uh, say that. That's probably why I came to see you, after talking to the old man. Oh my god, is that so cute! You said you want to go on a journey after this was all over, right? That kind of caught me off guard. I never knew you had plans like this. Oh, would you like to tag along? We never really talked about it, have we? It always seems natural that we just go back home once we are done. But there's nothing that says we have to. A journey, huh? You know, I really don't know much about anywhere except the library. I don't even know where I was born. Hmm. What do I want to do? Well, you do not need to have an answer now. Hmm? But you got it all set, don't you? I don't know, it's a little unsettling to me. I guess you're right though. I shouldn't rush to I shouldn't rush to think of something. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little optimistic to say I'll eventually find something I want to do. But I've got plenty of time to think. <laughs> After talking to you, I kind of feel like I have an idea of what to do. Thanks. You're welcome, my friend. Sure. I'll be counting on you for advices. Again, if I ever hit a wall. Well, sorry to keep you up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. So I better go to bed. Yeah, you should really do that. Later. Good night. And we are alone again. And we're going to sleep. Like always. Now that I have full TP, um, we can visit the Duke because nobody allows me to go outside. Look at this! Chloe is evil. She won't let me get outside. I actually wanted to grind a bit between this part and the last part so I can upgrade my armor. But she doesn't allow that! So annoying. Oh well. Let's visit the Duke so we can really move again. Explorers? Members of Vesperia, it has been some time. How was your exploration? Eh. How has your exploration been going? Pardon, but. Well, the winged one that we met in the library deemed that we obtained something called the ancient. Perry up something. Uh. The ancient. Ha ha ha. Hmm, I suppose. In hindsight, I should have given it to you when you first agreed to search for the floating castle. Well then? Then you will lend this to us? I am truly yes. sorry. Yes, however, the ancient Hanana is an heirloom of Hylagard. They are 
dangerous that must be observed. Hmm? Was it this? Yes. Yes, in order for me to lend it to you, I must first have you accept this. An official... Oh my god. You want to bind me yeah, by okay. a quest. What? You're serious? I've never understand currencies. What a pain. I... I'm so sorry to give you such a heavy burden. But I confess that the thought has crossed my mind many times. Explorers. Your true intention is Caledonia's ritual, but... You have entered the library times after times to protect Hyla Guard from danger. I wish to officially make a request on behalf of Hyla Guard, so that I may support you in your endeavor. Please, member of Vesperia, won't you please accept my request? Well, I don't have a choice. Ah, I regarding the mission. I really do not have a choice. Then I need to accept you this. Have my gratitude. I thought you might accept it. From this moment on, you have our full support in carrying out this great quest. Does that mean you give me a lot of N so I can upgrade my equipment so I can safely pass through the floors? Wait here a moment and I shall call for the lady. I thank you. Thank you for heeding my selfish request. What about the N? Let's all work together and give me yes. the end. Yes, the Grand Duchy is constrained in what aid we may provide. Give me end! But we shall fight the calamity together. Please, accept this. You are to think, uh, to take this. It is a pendant with an engravement of an ancient sword. This has been in our family for generations. This will surely serve of the proof of the ancient pact that they seek. Okay. Please. Members of Vesperia. Make your way to the floating castle and bring back the means to overcome the calamity. What about the end? Why, great! I'm counting on your success. But thank you for nothing! <sighs> Officially accepting a mission on behalf of the country, huh? I feel like I've really stepped in it this time. <laughs> I'm most grateful that the lady is taking this issue to heart. We must do our best to repay her kindness. She just gave us the item to proceed. She didn't support us much. Well, uh, this big... It uh, doesn't change anything, actually. I'm not certain. I suppose not, but... Doesn't it spur you on to try even harder? Not actually. You're right. Not for me. I'd say it's better to treat this like we always do, rather than get too keen up about it. Nothing good comes from getting nervous. Hmm. Huh. That sounds like it's come from experience. Where Come on, enough fooling around. We gotta go show this pendant to the high muckety muck of the winged one. I concur. Yes, of course. I do hope that he allows us to uh, uh, through. In any case, let's go. Yes. Yes, and if he's not satisfied, then we shall simply find another way. Hmm. Will, will he let us ride him this time? Oh dear. You're still going on about that? He's probably not going to do that. But before we head out, I'm going to make another save. The guest book is here. Um, Just in case I happen to die. Yeah. If I'm Let really bad at it. You never know what's going to happen. So we were here. Of the whole flying things. And now you step towards the place where you last saw the winged one, who seems to be in the uh, seems to be the chief of their people. Earthbound ones. You must present the ancient Hanana if you wish to continue down this path. Words alone will not suffice. That is the star's decree. In answer to the man's persistence request, you raise the pendant and trust it to you by Lady Gatril. What? Almighty stars. Just as you foresaw, the Lord of the Pact has appeared before us. The winged one calls out excitedly before unabashing staring at you with intense curiosity. My apologies. Allow me to ask you this, Earthbound Bonds. What is your name? Uh, I'm Ray. Hmm. Uh ha. Huh. It has an old ring to it. Ray of Vesperia. Ray of Vesperia. 
Yes, I shall remember it well. After repeating your names a number of times, the winged one delivered an odd bow and resumed his speech. I am called Canaan. I am chief of my people, children of Father Sun and Mother Moon, the ones bound to the will of the star. We obey our fates and live within the forest. We do not mingle with earthbound ones and live by the star's will. As chief of the winged one, I accept that you are given the right to return to the heaven. Uh, thank you. Why? Why do you show gratitude? You earthbound ones are strange indeed. We act in accordance with the star's mandrum. Since you have appeared as the star decrees, our duty is to accept you. Hear me, Vesperia. Our duty is to present those with the proper credence to the path leading into the heavens. Listen, and think on my words. Do you truly have the resolve to throw yourself on the sky's mercy? Cannon points to the forest behind him, speaking slowly. Do you understand? The path to the heaven is the path to the stars. It is real enough. Yet at the same time, it is a path to death. Something smells fishy. Well, that's ominous. What in the world's waiting for us there? Now then. There's a winged beast perching before the sacred gate. We call it the Queen of the Sky. It is a dire threat to, the, to my people. And so we named it after our threat of the demon bird. Who hunts us as prey. Tell me what you seek. If you would venture to the castle in the heaven, you must face the queen of the sky. Well then, we take it on. Mm. We killed so many demons already. What's what's the point of fighting one more? You're indeed those who bear the pact decreed by the stars. I bid you good luck. Cannon have said what must have be said. Spread his formidable black wings Fair and well. fly. Right? Eh. Uh, Farewell, Vesperia. If the star will is, then we shall meet again when you have reached the path to the heavens. With those last words, Cannon flies high into the air until you can see him no more. I'd like that. The winged one fly freely through the sky and travel as they like through the labyrinth. Right. That sounds really useful. That's mean. They still won't let me ride them, though. You are free to proceed on your... On or head back. Well, why should I head back? Hmm? Love stalker. Oh my god. Oh my god, I still forgot the fuck of. Oh my. No. Okay. No. No, I will not return. Just because I'm stupid. There's another door there somewhere. There was another one of these, these annoying flying things. And of course, we have some spaces like this. We also have those annoying bird thingies. Great. Just, just great. That thing gets triggered really quickly, so I better try to avoid that for now. Till I see the next nest. Everything turns out alright. Oh god, that's going to be such a pain in the butt, I can already say. We have something here. Then like this. Nothing I can do about this. Great. <gasps> Is there something like a nest here? Anything like a nest? Seems like a no. Take another peek. Wait, it just means I cannot go this way. Ah, okay. 
Let's try the other exit. There's a bird nest right there. And I'm going to mark this one as a bird nest as well. Bird nest. We have a rhino. Those things are also annoying. Oh crap. That doesn't work. It should fall down if I Yikes. do this. Oh, the effect wore off. Great. And I do not like the fact Got that it. the effect wear off. So what do we have there? It's a bird. Okay. I, I saw right into its eyes. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. It, it looks strong. Yeah, it looks strong. But don't worry about it. You just need to escape. My chance. My chance. Uh, just in case, how about Volt? Hmm? Leave the defenses to Mariana. Holy shit! What was that? I have no idea. Almost sure. killed me. And that's why, everyone, we will not fight against those annoying things, right? Right! Haha! <laughs> sure! Let's wait until it's on the nest. Oh, this isn't good. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Am I able to sneak past that thing? Yes, I should be able. Yes! Perfect. Just perfect. Let's wait a bit. Just so that he is not going to notice me. We have a bird nest here. Is that all just to get that box? Are you kidding me? Really? Wow. And what's that? Oh man. Well, that's just great. These people are strong. What the hell is that? That thing is going to Oh no 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 rear guard Blink shot Blink order and blink order Leave the defense to me Burn to act Okay No more of you Let's lift Kinda bad Yes Please Leave the defenses to me and work, but we lift. Okay. What do you think? Ooh, a grimoire. A bad self. Thanks for that. I've never seen it before. Okay, that was As kinda say, close. Sure. Much appreciated. So healed up. I'm not quite sure about this. But I do know that this is all kind of like this, I think. It's us. Well, that was kind of useless that I went this way. Just kind of. Which means I actually it wore off. need to go through here. Just that I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Uh, 
Ah. If I trigger it, there is no nest I could avoid to. Okay. Oh, ah, good. that was bad. That bird, that bird is also annoying. Okay, let's proceed. Oh crap! So if I'm ah, <laughs> well, isn't that fun? This isn't good. He also sees me from back there. Huh? The effect wore off. Sure. Why is it so annoying to get past that hmm? thing? So let's let's wait. See, can he see me if I'm like this? No, he cannot. Okay. Let's make it really cool. Okay. Let's lure him. Kind of. Slowly. Proceed. Okay, okay. Let's, let's stay calm about this. Let's stay very calm about this. I just... I, we're off? I, I just... I just need to get past there. Yes, 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 just, just a tiny bit more. We have a cornerstone here, and there's a treasure somewhere here. But we do not care about the treasure right now, we just want to live, and don't run into that F3. Uh, not good. What's, what's now? Just escaped. Ridiculous. What is it? It's a frog. And it's dead. Great that they aren't so smart. Really useful that they aren't that smart. Let's remove that. We have a cornerstone there. Let's put it like this. And then what the hell is that? I don't like that. And I don't like that. Uh, yeah. I have a bad feeling about those two. So... How about a blind? For safety measures, prevent order and link order to this. Leave the defenses to me. Ouch! Okay. Kinda worked. Let's put up also a guard order just in case. You just let me this. Come on. That's actually bad.
Let a prevent order, maybe? And displacement on him. My aim is set. Fight so. Of course it doesn't work on him. Freeze? Maybe? I don't know. What? Really? Stop being so annoying! Dear God! Hmm? Why doesn't it work on you? Uh. Give me something good. Hmm? Okay. One resonance. Resonance. Yes. Thank you. We have a new stone. Thank you. I've never seen it before. So now that we have that. We can proceed forward. And before we do that, we need to color out a bit. Since there's actually quite a lot to explore here. And I think I'm going to take the bullet and eat the damage. Don't want to bother with that. My friend had a nice day, huh? At work and so. No need to be so scary, you know. We are all friends here, kinda. And maybe not that much, but kinda. Very well. Did that make things easier? Yes, it was helpful. It was very helpful. Keep doing it. Okay. Okay. So now, now we have another door. Oh, without any FOE. Well, isn't that nice? Is there also a shortcut, maybe? So I can, I don't know, run safety. Where's my stalker? Me, right? Oh my god. Wall goes further. That wall goes further. There's no sky here. What's wrong? I didn't. Uh, a quick look be uh, below. Below you shows nothing but the sky. Having reached the central area of the floor, you pause to take in the view. How oddly exciting! Truly, we I are. I feel my heart pounding. Why aren't you reading the text if you read something? Truly, we are atop of the very clouds. This is none the least fascinating of having, cli uh, of having climbed here on foot, isn't it? You got that right. Yeah, we haven't been keeping track of how high we've been, so it's kind of neat to see. Yikes! So now that I'm looking down at it all, I'm getting vertigo. Hmm. Uh, what would happen if we fell? Uh, we get stuck on a branch. We can do it. Oh, maybe. The Yggdrasil has a lot of branches. We might be okay. What are you saying? How do you not see the gap in that logic? There's no way we'll be okay. We're going to get hurt all over. There, there. Easy, fella. The air's thin this high up. You gotta wear yourself out if you keep yelling. I see. Oh, this is true. The air does feel different here. Like when I once climbed a tall mountain. Thinking more about it, we now stand taller than any mountains in Caledonia. Is it all this moment that you realize how unusually your position is and you all take a deep breath? Veteran is right about the air, seems a bit thin, but it also feels bursting compared to the surface air. If you wish, you can rest for your long walk here and spend some time and enjoying the breathtaking sight. Yeah, let's rest a bit. Yes. 
That sounds wonderful. Let's enjoy this view while we can. Hey. That's fine and all, but make sure not to fall, okay? I'll be careful. You got that right. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the worst case and all. <sighs> but a depressing conversation. <laughs> hey, where's Chloe? Flavio's question caused you to look about for the girl, only to find her leaning over the edge, gazing below. <sighs> hey, what are you doing? All four of you quickly pulled, moved to pull Chloe back to safety. <sighs> I was about to touch the clouds. Huh? What? What do clouds feel like? Are they as soft and fluffy as they seem? Uh, no one touches any clouds. Uh, I'm supposed not. It's such a pity, but I'll abandon the idea for now. <laughs> do me a favor and abandon it forever. Please. The idly shed holds space as you enjoy the cool breeze and the peaceful moments spent together. Time to get back Come on. And Twins calling time on break? That's rare. Ugh. I'm freezing. When you're stuck in metal armor like me, you'll get cold really fast. This does seem like the time to be on your way. As you stand back, you feel refreshed from the leisure's rest. That's worth it. The party recovered. Duh, duh, duh. All agree that it's well deserved break. Just as you prepare to resume your trick. <laughs> no. Suddenly, you feel a piercing glare directed towards you from the area's center. What the hell? Are you the boss? You are the boss! Careful. The hell is that? You look to see a monster with giant wings descending from the heavens. Though it is still far away, the sight of it chills you to your core. This is dreadful! Could that be the Queen of the Skies? Hold your breath. You hold your breath and stand wicked, trying not to provoke the monster. But though the monster seems aware of your presence, it comes no closer. Hmm? It's not coming. It seems that way. Even if we want to fight it, we can't get at it from here. If we are going to beat that thing, we'll need to find another way to reach it. Oh, come on. Yeah, Give that's scary. And that's the thing they're trying to get close to? You must first find a way to reach the Queen of the Sky. Knowing this, you must brace yourself and continue to proceed deeper into the floor. Well. Oh, our floor jump activate! <laughs> Well, isn't that great? I think it's the perfect time to make a little cut. And I see you guys in the next part. So until then.